हे एवरीबडी दिस इज ब्रजेश हियर एम एस एम ई मिनिस्ट्री हैज चेंज द एंटायर सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द डेफिनेशन ऑफ माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस हैज बीन चेंज एम एस एम ई मिनिस्ट्री इशूड ए नोटिफिकेशन डेटेड फर्स्ट जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन दिस रिगार्ड वेयर इट हैज बीन डिफाइंड that what will be the micro small and medium enterprises in this notification msme ministry has increased the investment limit in plant and machinery and that of turnover also for classifying an enterprise as micro small or medium enterprises the criteria for qualifying as micro small and medium enterprise is its investment in plant and machinery and its turnover so both these two conditions cumulatively are to be taken into account while determining whether an enterprise is a micro small or medium enterprise as per msmed act 2006 also the said notification has omitted the difference between the manufacturing and services sector now there will be no difference between the manufacturing and services sector for the purposes of msme d act 2006 msme ministry has issued notification by so number 2119e dated 26 june 2020 this notification contains the detailed guidelines for classification of an enterprise that whether an enterprise is a micro or a small or medium enterprise in this notification it has been prescribed that what are all conditions one enterprise has to comply with what is the procedure for registration from which date this notification and new criteria will be applicable all these details have been given in this notification now i will be sharing with you the minute details of this notification over here so that you may understand how to comply with this detailed notification hassle free and take the maximum benefit thereof so keep watching this video till end to take the maximum benefit out of it this notification is an important notification in respect of every micro small and medium enterprises therefore the msme ministry has transparently detailed out each and every aspect in respect of micro small and medium enterprises in this notification one important point is to be kept in mind and noted that now there is no separate criteria under msme definition for manufacturing and services sector which earlier used to be hence the differentiation between manufacturing and services sector for the purposes of classification whether an enterprise is a micro a small or medium enterprise for the purposes of msme d act has been removed now the criteria to determine whether an enterprise is micro small and medium enterprise is a combination of its investment into plant and machinery and its turnover so now it is important that both these criteria that is investment in plant and machinery and turnover will decide now that in which category that is micro small or medium category your enterprise shall be classified under msme d act now you should understand that for the purposes of classification of an enterprise as a micro enterprises what is the criteria my dear friends if the investment in plant and machinery or equipment is less than rupees 1 crore and the turnover of your enterprise is rupees less than 5 crore then your enterprise will be classified as a micro enterprise under the msmed act next category under msmed act is 
small enterprises for the purposes of classification a small enterprise is that which is having its investment in plant and machinery less than rupees 10 crore and its turnover is less than rupees 50 crore if both these criteria are being fulfilled by an enterprise then that enterprise shall be classified as a small enterprise under the msmed act next category under msmed act is medium enterprises it is required that its investment in plant and machinery should be less than rupees 50 crore and its turnover should be less than rupees 250 crore. If that be the case, then an enterprise shall be classified as a medium enterprise under the MSMED Act. Now, the question will be coming to your mind that how you will determine the turnover of your enterprise for the purposes of classification how you will determine investment in plant and machinery for classification of your enterprise as a micro a small or medium enterprise the question will also be coming in your mind that what are all documents you have to submit for getting this registration under msmed act or whether this will be under self declaration basis you will be thinking that you are already registered under MSMED Act. Then whether you are required to take fresh registration. And if yes, what will be the last date by which you should obtain that fresh registration? So now I will be discussing with you in detail all these things which will answer all your questions which are coming to your mind reply to all these questions which are coming to your mind is available in notification dated 26th of june 2020 issued by msme ministry which i am going to share with you now for bringing clarity to you so that there is no ambiguity in your mind while classifying your enterprise as micro a small or medium enterprise as per the MSME Act. MSME Ministry has made the registration under MSME Act now very simple and completely hassle free as well as online. The new registration will be known as Udyam registration. Yes, this will be known now as a Udyam registration in place of the earlier Udyog Aadhaar Memorandum or Udyog Aadhaar Registration and this will be purely based on your self-declaration. This process will be extremely simple, seamless and entrepreneur friendly. It will set an example in ease of doing business not only in India but internationally also. It will reduce transaction time and cost. Entrepreneurs and enterprises can focus on their real work and become globally competitive. Now I will share with you first the benefits of getting registered as Udyam. 1. Udyam registration helps in getting government tenders. Number 2. Due to Udyam, the bank loans become cheaper as the interest rate is very low for MSMEs. Three. There are various tax rebates available for Udyam. 4. It becomes easy to get licenses, approvals and registrations irrespective of the field of business as business registered under Udyam are given higher preferences for government licenses and certification. Number 5. They get easy access to credit at lower rate of interest. Number 6. Registered Udyams gets tariff subsidies and tax and capital subsidies. 7. Once registered, the cost getting a patent done or the cost of setting up the industry reduces as many rebates and concessions are available to MSMEs. Now I will share with you the most important points of the Udyam scheme. 
registration of all existing enterprises is now necessary. So, existing enterprises registered prior to 30th of June 2020 shall continue to be valid only for a period up to 31st of March 2021. Such enterprises shall register again on Udyam registration portal after July 1st, 2020. All enterprises registered till 30th of June 2020 shall be reclassified in accordance with this notification. An enterprise for this purpose will be known as an Udyam and its registration process will be known as Udyam registration. The MSME registration process is fully online, paperless and based on self-declaration. No document or proof are required to be uploaded for registering an MSME. Aadhaar number will be required for registration. A registration number will be given after registration. After completion of the process of registration, an Udyam registration certificate will be issued. There will be no need for renewal of registration. PAN and GST link details of investment and turnover of an enterprise will be taken automatically from the respective government databases. The website link for getting this Udyam registration is udyamregistration.gov.in After logging on this website, you can get your Udyam registration based on your self-declaration now. You may get the registration of uh, your MSME enterprise on this website which is provided on your screen now. You will be wondering, what is this Udyam registration certificate? Yes, it is nothing new but the new name given to the MSME registration. Now it will be known as Udyam registration in place of earlier Udyogadhar memorandum or Udyogadhar registration. Also, it will be free of cost. You need not to pay even a single penny for getting the new Udyam registration. Further, you need not to upload any document at the time of applying for this registration. You will be getting the Udyam registration certificate in electronic form. You will be getting the Udyam registration certificate online and it will not be issued in hard copy. Now, you may download it from the site. It will be called e Udyam registration certificate. For the sake of clarity again, you may just keep in mind that the composite criteria of investment and turnover has now been prescribed for classifying your enterprise as micro, small and medium enterprises. Now one question will be coming to your mind that okay, your enterprise is having the investment in plant and machinery of less than rupees 1 crore but the turnover of your enterprise is say rupees 10 crore, then in which category this enterprise shall be classified? My dear friends, in this case your enterprise shall be classified in the next higher category, that is as a small enterprise in place of micro enterprises here. My dear friends, I discuss in this video in respect of new scheme of Udyam that is about the criteria for classification of an enterprise as micro, a small or medium enterprise. Also I discussed benefit of getting Udyam registration. Further, important points of Udyam scheme were also discussed in this video. I will be discussing in my second video on new Udyam scheme with you that how to calculate investment in plant and machinery for getting Udyam registration. 
how to calculate turnover is also discussed there what shall be the mandatory conditions for getting udyam registration what is the procedure of getting udyam registration those enterprises which are already registered under msme d act 2006 whether they are also required to take udyam registration or not and how your grievances shall be redressed and many more things in detail link for the second video is given here you may view this video by clicking this link this is also very important video in order to understand the nitty gritty of scheme of udyam